Here's my, <laughs> here's my key. In here. You can push the door open. With this card, I, I feel like it's easier to pull it by the handle. Yeah. Something about the steering. Uh, it's a little more maneuverable. Okay, over here is uh, our designated autoclave. I, I meant to update this sign. Uh, we should uh, update it. Well, this is true, but it, we should update that to at 12, um, 12 14 is because that's what we're going to use it next. But go ahead and gain, gain access. Let's open this. Uh -uh. This is a touch screen. First, need to open the door. Now you'll be challenged for password. And it's Ed Labs. And enter. CCGS2. Uh -huh. Center Cell Genome Science 2. And enter. And then log in. Now you'll be able to open the door. Okay, you can see here in the chambers, 51 centigrade jackets at 101 centigrade. Chambers at 12.5 psi, which is atmospheric pressure, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, put these in. Uh, when, when they're cold, uh, it's okay to put them in using uh, two hands or two flasks. Don't have them touching each other uh, and space them out. But just, a little, just enough space so that they don't touch each other. The, the, first, the first placement was perfect. So oh, okay. as, as long as they're not at risk of knocking against each other, you're, you're doing good. But of course, when we take these out and they're hot, we'll be using one hand per flask. And we're focusing on positional awareness so we don't drop a flask or knock into something. Great. And now, it's helpful if you put a piece of uh, autoclave tape. You only need one piece that goes on one of the flasks. And just like with the labeling of the, uh, put this indicator tape on one of the foil wrappers so it, we can remove it easily. Yeah, just like that. That's great. And that'll tell us whether the autoclave actually has a temperature. Because it'll turn, it'll get brown stripes. stripes. Okay, now, here you need to hold the closed door until it's all the way to the top. If you let go halfway, it'll help to start over. The idea is that if somebody puts their head in while holding the button, they won't. Okay, now it's... Start cycle or uh, select? You can, because it is programmed to liquid 4, 40, which is what we want, but you, let's go through the select cycle process so everybody sees that too. This is liquid 40, that's a recommended cycle for, if you're in a rush, you can try liquid 30. Uh, we're not in a rush, and, and these plates will not have any antibiotics, so I think it's pretty important to use liquid 40. Uh, if you're gonna add a lot of antibiotics, like we do for mutate DNA, then liquid 30 would probably be just fine. And then you say select cycle. And then you go through the next uh, panels. They're telling you, here's the 40 minutes sterilization time, and uh, uh, all of these other uh, settings are set so that it, uh, vapor escapes safely without the flasks overboiling. And then start cycle, and it'll prompt you for yet another confirmation. And that, that reassuring click that we heard, that was the door beginning to seal. There's a uh, sealing door message here. And it, it takes about an hour and a half uh, before uh, the whole thing is complete. Very good.